Resolution number 228-34 is relative to calling for a pause on construction and pre-construction activities related to the U.S. Department of the Navy's proposed live firing train live fire training range complex at Northwest Field until final determinations are made by the U.S. Department of Defense as to the series of associated live fire training ranges in Guam and the CNMI. And all related active litigation is resolved in order to ensure the protection of the environmental and cultural resources of the northern coastline of Guam. Whereas on September 20, 2010, the Department of the Navy issued its record decision based on the final environmental impact study issued earlier that year pursuant to which the U.S. Department of Defense would relocate approximately 8,600 Marines from Okinawa to Guam and as part of the process construct and operate a series of live fire ranges not only in Guam but throughout the Marianas. And where shortly after the release of the record of decision, the Navy assessed the nature of the need of and need for said live fire ranges culminating in the release in 2015 of a supplemental environmental impact statement evaluating alternative locations for the development of a live fire training range complex on Guam, a decision the Navy had deferred in 2010. The Navy whereas the Navy stated it would analyze the impacts of the relocated Marine's live fire training range on Tinian and Pagan in an entirely separate EIS, namely the CNMI Joint Military Training EIS, a draft which was issued in April 2015. Whereas in August 2015, the Navy issued another record of decision based on the SEIS. The, this second record of decision affirmed the Navy's 2010 decision to relocate Marines from Okinawa to the Marianas, despite the lack of analysis of the live fire training on Tinian and Pagan. And whereas in February 2016, the Navy announced its plan to issue a dr revived draft CJMT EIS, which has yet to be released. Whereas on July 27, 2016, Earth Justice representing concerned citizens groups in the CNMI filed a lawsuit under the National Environmental Policy Act in the United States District Court for the Northern Marianas, alleging inner alia that the proposed live firing training ranges in Guam and the CNMI were cumulative and connected actions. Cumulative and connected actions. Under NEPA, which should have been considered under a single EIS, and that the Navy had failed to consider alternatives in compliance with federal law, and whereas Ilas Latura finds that the affirmation of legal questions should be fully disposed of by the appropriate courts and final determinations made by the DOD as to the series of associated live firing training ranges in both Guam and the CNMI, in order to avoid potential irreversible impacts to the environmental and cultural resources of the northern coastline of Guam, including but not limited to the 1,000 acres of pristine limestone forest. And be it resolved that Imenai Trentai Kwachu Nalhezastatoran Guahan does hereby call for a pause of, on construction and pre-construction, including but not limited to clearing, grading, and removing activities related to the U.S. Department of the Navy's proposed live fire training range complex at Northwest Field and until final determinations are made by the DOD as to the series of associated, of associated live fire training ranges in Guam and the CNMI. And all related active litigation is resolved in order to ensure the protection of the environmental and cultural resources of the northern coastline of Guam. And be it further, resolved that the Imanai Trentai Quancho Nahala Satoran Guahan does hereby urge the Honorable Edward J. B. Calvo, Ima Galahan Guahan, and the Honorable Mad Madeline Z. Berdalio, Guam Delegate to the United States Congress, to join with I. Legislatura in this call for a pause on construction and pre-construction construction activities rela related to the U.S. Department of the Navy's proposed live fire training range complex at Northwest Field for the reasons stated herein, and be it further resolved that the speaker certify and the legislative secretary attest to the adoption hereof, and that copy, copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to the U.S. Department of Interior, to the Honorable Madeline Z. B. Berdalio, the Honorable, Honorable Edward J. B. Calvo in Magalahan Gohan. You know, my colleague stated, uh, made a good point. Yes, this is different. But 
it still focuses on the same mission and goal. And that was to bring a pause on construction and pre-construction activities related to the U.S. Department of the Navy's proposed live firing training range complex. This is about giving us more time. And the urgency is two months is not a long way from now if we go by the letter that was handed out. There's an urgency. The public sees it. I don't know why we don't. The people of Guam has fought this since 2009, 2010. I myself had to go to almost every town hall meeting that I can remember, testify in front of the legislature, give our generation an opportunity to enjoy what you were, you were able to enjoy as children, the way you were raised, the way you lived. Our culture is a part of, of land. Our parents teach us to farm. Our parents teach us to fish. Our parents teach us to go out into the jungle and find what we, can f to, what we need to eat. And it's always a treasure for us. If we don't stand up now, If we sit silent and do nothing and wait for a roundtable hearing when, this, when we see the public's outcry, for me, it sends one message. We do not hear you. These people elected us into office. And our job is to serve them first, not our special interests. Not set the dollar over the value of a life and our culture. Para bahu patehids and who defendi ihenengi i kotora i lenguahi i ari i hanam zani tana tomorrow. This is what we stand for. Why will we deny ourselves this? Why will we deny the people this? Why will we deny them our action? This is a call for a pause. Let's not get this skewed, please. We are calling them to come back and we are calling on our governor and our congresswoman to join us so that we stand as one united body, which was the purpose of this delay in a day. Please do not get this confused. My colleagues, I thank you. I thank you for all the hard work that you committed to yesterday. And I humbly, humbly ask that if you're feeling conflicted, you remember the inifresi. You remember the inifresi that we stand up every time before session and we recite. Are they a mere words to us? Or when we do the benedicion, do we just do it so that people think that we advocate for these things? So that we can get likes? Because if we don't see this as an urgency, the public outcry has made it very clear that it is an urgency. My colleagues, I humbly ask for your support. God bless you.